Hey everyone, Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and today sees the launch of the 3000 XT Ryzen processors. Let's do this. The MSI Prestige PS341WU monitor delivers the ultra-wide experience you've been waiting for. No more compromises on resolution due to its incredible 5K 2K IPS panel and a stunning picture thanks to HDR600, DCI-P3 colour and a versatile 34-inch design. We think it's one of the best monitors ever created. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. So basically this year AMD has well pretty much been killing it. They've had quite a few launches when you compare them against kind of what Intel have done. Yes, Intel have had Z490 with their refresh of a refresh of a refresh of the 14 nanometer plus 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 architecture. Whereas AMD have kind of, I don't know, been breaking the mold a little bit. We've seen B550 launch bring in, I guess, the latest and greatest features from the AMD um, sort of segment to a more mainstream kind of market because now it's a you know it's much more affordable. We also saw the launch of the 3100 and the Ryzen 3 3300X, giving you again the latest and greatest feature set for anywhere from $99 up to uh, obviously $120 with the 3300X. They also backtracked a little bit. They basically had quite a lot of flack from the I guess the community and what they did is they said that the new Zen 3 architecture based processors will actually be available to be used on older generation motherboards. So they have been listening to the community. They've done a few things. They've really tried to sort of look at what they've been doing, what's been working and I guess develop on that. So that's where we see today, the launch of the Ryzen 3000 XT series. So I'm going to refer to these as the sort of XT and then the previous not even previous generation, but the non-T parts, because we have the Ryzen 5 3600X. Now we have the XT. We have the 3800X, and now the XT. We have the 3900X and the XT. Now AMD have made it very, very clear to us, and we was actually on a briefing call with them, that Zen 3 will be hitting this year. That is the plan. They are adamant that that is gonna happen, so very exciting stuff coming up. Now, in terms of the XT, that doesn't mean that the non-T parts are actually going to be disappearing. So we're still going to have the 3600, we're still going to have the 3800X, uh, we're still going to have the 3900X, but we're going to have the XT parts as well. Now, for the most part, what they actually offer is 100 or 200 megahertz extra on the boost clock. The base clock speed is exactly the same as what it is on the non-T part. It's just the boost clock that's changed a little bit. And that's down to AMD and what they've managed to figure out with the seven nanometer process. They've managed to figure out that they can offer a little bit more performance. They can eke that little bit extra out of it and offer it to you guys. Now, what they've actually done is they haven't essentially charged you any extra for it either. And that comes down to the fact that instead of charging you extra for it, they are just releasing it at the same MSRP launch pricing of the non-T parts. Now, obviously, since they launched, we have actually seen them reducing price a little bit. So that's where things may get a little bit confusing for consumers because you're gonna have quite a lot of choice. But in my eyes, that's actually a real good situation to be in as a consumer because you now have so much choice. So if you have this budget, you can buy the 3600X. If you have a little bit more, you could go for the 3600XT. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there saying, well, why don't you just overclock? And anyone who's seen my videos before will know that, well, overclocking is a bit of a dying art, especially when you have things like Precision Boost Overdrive and other cool technologies from the likes of AMD and their board partners. So with all of that out of the way, I guess really I should focus on the processor that I've got here. This is the 3600 XT. For the most part, nothing has changed apart from it's 100 megahertz faster. So they actually compared this against Intel 9th gen. And the reasoning behind that was AMD said that they couldn't actually get hold of any 10th gen processors to do the comparison, which I kind of do get a little bit because even just looking around now in the retail world in the UK and the US, they are very, very hard to get hold of. But surely AMD could have just come and, you know, approached a media partner like us and be like, can you lend us a 10th gen processor just to be a little bit more transparent? But that's just me being me and sort of, I don't know, maybe over analyzing the situation a little bit. With that aside though, we always wanna do our own tests and see exactly how it performs on our own test bench for a fair and comparative kind of purpose. So I guess without further ado, let's take a look at them glorious benchmarks.
there's a results and I mean it's pretty much self-explanatory the XT is slightly faster than the X which is slightly faster than the non X and so forth so it kind of sits exactly where you would expect it to go now it is worth noting that we do obviously want to look at overclocking and as I mentioned earlier I think overclocking is a little bit of a dying art and you will see exactly why in the results I mean in terms of the overclocking we were actually able to get this up to 4.5 gigahertz completely stable at 1.3 volts with a Notua D15S now the problem that you have with it is by putting in more volts that means more heat which consequently when it when you start putting load through the processor that kind of means that you may end up thermal throttling and that's what I think may have happened with our particular processor so I guess yeah let's run the benchmarks of exactly how it performed overclock and you'll see well what I'm talking about really So as you saw from them benchmarks, I mean, it didn't really offer anything above and beyond. So we've taken this from 3.8 gigahertz base clock up to 4.5 and it was completely stable. But I mean, was it really worth it in certain benchmarks? Well, we didn't really see much of a difference in some benchmarks. We actually saw it go the other way. And as I mentioned, that's probably down to the whole thermal throttling side of things. So yeah, there's that. Talking about thermal throttling and cooling as well, that's one thing I did want to talk about. The 3600 XT that we've got here actually comes bundled with the Rafe Spire cooler, whereas the 3800 XT and the 3900 XT don't actually come with any cooler supplied whatsoever. That's because AMD believe that you know, the sort of users and the end case scenario of people using those particular processors are probably going to go down the DIY route, use something like a beefy air cooler, an AIO, or even on the higher end, um, custom loop. But I mean, for that, I probably would have liked to have seen maybe a $10 kind of rebate on it. You know, take $10 off the price compared to the MSRP pricing on the non-T parts. But yeah, no, they didn't want to go for that one. So uh, yeah, a little bit of an interesting one. Other than that though, I think that's pretty much it for this video. We will actually have a written review of the 3600 XT, which shows a lot more benchmark results. So you can see exactly how it compares against other parts, older generation from, you know, sort of Ryzen second gen Intel as well. Uh, but for the sake of the video, we could only fit in kind of a small selection. Other than that, let me know what you think about these XT processors. Do you think it's, you know, a good thing? Honestly, I kind of do. They're giving you something extra essentially for free. Obviously, pricing is a big thing because they're launching an MSRP pricing of the non-T parts. But like I mentioned, they've already kind of come down in price anyway. So there you go, guys. Also, be sure to check out store.etechnics.com where you can find merch like our handy dandy cable organizer bags, which come in a variety of sizes as well as colors and much, much more. Other than that, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments section below. What one would you go for as well? 3600 XT, I think is probably the sweet spot. Till next time, see you later guys, bye bye.